boom welcome to fight heads mma again look who we have today you guys you y'all just don't never know where the greatness is going to come from and today it is coming from the ufc in the form of one of our flyweight fighters miss fear the maverick <laughs> Miranda Fear the Maverick. She is here. I'll never know how to say how to put that out there with you because you you just have that awesome um, Fear the Maverick. She's the one. She's the one. <laughs> and she's here today with us. Welcome back, young lady. How are you? I'm doing really great. I'm doing really great. Thanks for having me. Oh my goodness. Well, you are always welcome and thank you for uh, finding time for us in your busy, busy schedule. Um, you are coming off of your was it that was that with your debut in the uh, UFC? Second, fight. second, second fight. fight. Okay, I, I don't know where my brain is at, but okay. So second fight in the UFC. Uh, what was your feeling going into it? How was training camp going into it? What 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 to tell us? Yeah, it was good. Um, with Jillian Robertson, we had already tried to book that fight two separate times. Um, the previous time was about four weeks before this last fight. Um, she dropped out on me day of the fight. We were about an hour from walking into the cage. So I was pretty upset about that one. I'd already cut weight. I'd already done a whole training camp into it. And then it just got set back. Um, but I was glad she took another fight. Um, wasn't having to train for a whole nother opponent. Just was able to get right back into the gym and keep training as if it was still fight camp. Um, the back-to-back -back weight cuts were a little bit rough, um, but that's part of the sport. You know, things happen. Um, she had gotten sick the day of, and we rebooked it and had the fight, ended up winning. But there's always learning you can do from those. Um, the second round was a little rough for me. I was on bottom a lot of the time for jiu-jitsu, never got hurt or anything. She wasn't doing any damage, um, but control time was there, and I plan on that changing in the future. I should have done a couple things differently. And I talk about with my coaches that, when you learn through a fight camp, it's usually two fights later that that stuff actually shows. So it's a little bit of a delay in the learning process. And I hope that this fight I'm able to show the full potential of what my previous fight camp was. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. So did, did her falling out the last minute give you extra energy or, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? That extra fight energy you need to actually facing her this time for sure. A little bit. Um, it gave me some extra motivation just because I go in and I'm a pretty nice person, I'd say. And I was able to have that motivation to be like, all right, now I really want to like kick her butt and win. She wanted to make me work extra hard. But I always go into a fight like that. I see them as being the sole person that's making me do weight cuts. I see them being the sole person making me sweat, making me get hurt, making me get have to train. Like They're the purpose for everything miserable in my life when they're standing across from me in that cage. Um, <laughs> and I, I try to make them feel that when we're in there. Understood, young lady. You, you, are, you are so awesome to talk to because I know what you do to prepare yourself. I know how hard you work, young lady. So it's always awesome and a pleasure to talk to you. They are booked. You are already booked for another fight, are you not? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> so you are in the training camp again right now. I, I um, technically will be like starting fight camp, fight camp, the end of May, but I am training every day now. Um, I never really get out of fight camp, if that makes sense. The only difference is like the certain way that we train or like an extra 30 minutes after practice with my coach or something. Other than that, everything pretty much stays consistent, stays the same. Um, I'll start slimming down and leaning out in this next week, actually, and starting the whole diet to it to make it a little bit easier weight cut and uh yeah like you said it's basically fight camp all over again right now getting ready to fight macy barber july 24th um and i'm ready for it to be fireworks hopefully get a fight bonus for once <laughs> oh my god it's moving so fast for you i am so excited for you so macy barber what do you see in her as as your next opponent what 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 are you looking for from her well, for one, I don't try to say too much over interviews because if she's smart, I can go and watch other interviews. But I will say she's a well-rounded girl. Um, I see myself as well-rounded and I feel like I'm going to have the benefit in the technique and she's used to bullying people and she's going to have a challenge doing that with me. Oh, fair <laughs> the memory. Here she comes. Oh, my goodness. 
So just uh, you're we are ranked today right now as mm -hmm. the number twelve female in in that the in number, your division. Number fifteen, according to the UFC. There's different websites that say different stuff. Okay. But the official rankings have me at number fifteen and her at number fourteen. Oh, really? Because yeah. uh, uh, MMA. MMA rankings. Yeah, um, they don't, but they aren't like official rankings. They're like a fan that are like, "Hey, I want. I think it's this." Oh wow, that's yeah. too bad because that makes yeah. everybody look good right now. Yeah. <laughs> but fifteen and fourteen, all number twelve females. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. nothing to wag your finger at, baby. No. Um, oh lord, you are moving fast. This fight is going to be exciting. Um, uh, what do <laughs> you want your end game to be at any point? In your fight life, have you given yourself a particular time on a timeline on what you wanted to do, what you wanted to be, and when well, you maybe want to? Because you're young, you're very young. So I'd say for me, it's always different goals. I talk about how I reach one goal or one dream, and then another one just gets added on. Um, and that's kind of how the fight world has worked for me too. You know, first it was become highest ranked amateur. Then it's go to pro and just make it to pro, you know? And then it was be part of Invicta, but I got to be an Invicta for my pro debut. So I hit those with one stone, you know? And then from there on, it was get into the UFC. Well, now I'm in the UFC. Then it was get ranked in the top 15. Who knew I was going to do that in two fights? That's crazy to me. So here I am, ranked in the top 15. Obviously, now moving up from there is top 10, top 5, then being a contender for the title, and then hopefully eventually being that world champion. And uh, there is an end timeline for me. You know, I'm not one of those people that will ever be 40 years old fighting. I, I don't want to do that. I don't have any interest. Um because I have other things in life that I can do, you know, and I, I've worked hard to prepare myself in case that needed to be the case. I have an education. I have a real job I can go out and get. Um, it's not one of those things where I'm so desperate for money or fame that I need to fight my entire life. So once I decide to settle down and have a family, that'll be the focus. Um, I'll still train. I'll never stop training. They say in martial arts, you know, once you're a martial artist, you're never not a martial artist. And I agree with that. Like, I love jujitsu. It's been a passion basically since I started it. And I'll always be a part of that. And now that I've started Muay Thai and striking, um, I see myself at least training that as well. I don't know about getting punched in the face for my entire life, but as far as training the techniques, teaching future generations, I love that. That's part of the sport that inspires me most is being able to take pictures of little kids, you know, and inspire them and make them excited. The little girls that dress up for me is Halloween. Like there's nothing else like that. There's no feeling on earth I've ever felt that that, you know, that touches my heart that much. Like it makes me cry every time I see it. And it's so exciting to me. And that's the purpose of the sport. And it's not about you know, people are like, well, you're a fighter. That's so cool. I'm like, this is an entertainment industry. And if we're talking in real terms, I'm not some hero. You know, I'm not a superhero. I'm not somebody out here doing more than other people. Uh, parents are doing the same kind of hard work, you know, just in a different setting. People working nine to five jobs are making the same impact for different things. Police officers, people protecting us with their lives, you know. Um, at the end of the day, I mean nothing in terms of like what I'm doing for the world. So like to hold me on a pedestal or anything like that is unfair. So to me, it's just so inspiring to see other people inspired by me and at least be able to put the concept of working hard and you get more of what you want and are able to achieve your dreams. That's the whole thing I want to put out there. And as you know, also like the whole ministry side of MMA, like I'm a Christian. I'm able to have a platform to put it out there that I'm a Christian and let people know that without being like, mm, I believe in God, I better not tell anybody. Like, I, I don't agree with that at all. Like, if you have a problem with it, you can unfollow me. If you have a problem with it and want to be a hater on my social media, great. You're still making me uh, likes and shares and whatever else you want to do with my stuff. <laughs> you deal with all kinds, don't you, baby? You have <laughs> I know you do. Oh, y'all do. I know that's right. So let's talk about the steam that is heating up your division right now. Uh, the title fight coming up. Mm -hmm. What is your take on that, Rose and, yeah. and Wei Li? Yeah. Ooh, that is well, some heat. Yeah. Well, that's actually 115. I'm 125, which is also oh. on the same card, Valentina versus okay. Andra. Okay. 
Um, and I'm actually watching all of them this weekend, though. It's a super exciting stacked card. I have a couple friends coming over. I'm going to be sitting there like, shut up, don't talk. I got to watch this. Like, I'm going to be super focused in on it, but really excited. I think Valentina will will win that fight, no problem. But Jessica brings in um, some power, you know, that we're going to get to see how Valentina handles power punches and stuff. But I think we've seen it before. I think she'll pick and choose and use her timing and technique to um, dismantle Andrade. Um, it would be a huge upset if she does not. Um, the Rose versus Wele fight, um, I have different feelings about that. I haven't I haven't ever trained with Wele or know her personally. I've heard she's just super nice, a, a sweetheart. Um, so it's really hard for me to pick based on that, even though usually I'm like, I want so-and-so to win because of this or that. Um, I don't really have that strong of feelings here. Um, I have to go with my patriotism and root for America, though, and um, hope that Rose does pretty good. Um, I'm pretty good. I wouldn't say friends with her, but I, I've known her, and I went up to her training camps before and and talked to uh, Pat a lot. Um so I hope Wele wins. Um, my gut kind of goes, or I'm sorry, I hope Rose wins. My gut kind of goes with Wele, but I am going to just say Rose. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with it and, and hold on to that. Okay. With Tino, I don't know. Like, Wele so good, and she's very athletic. I've been super impressed with her upcoming. Um, I actually watched her have a fight a few years back before she was ever close to championship material, and I was like, she's going to make it one day. She's, she's going to be there, so... We'll see. Oh my goodness, that bad smoke. And I apologize to my fighters for, <laughs> for did I so are you considered a featherweight? Is mm -hmm. A flyweight. Okay, so those girls are animates, right? Straw weights. Straw weights. <laughs> <laughs> so Adam weights are oh, tiny. They're one of fivers. And okay. the UFC doesn't even have that yet, although we're hoping they add that division. So one of fivers are in Invicta, though, and like in one champion, that kind of thing. Then we have the 115ers, the straw weights. That's Rose and Wele. Okay. Flyweights, which is my division, Valentina and Jessica Andrade getting ready to fight. Um, Bantam weights is next, I think, at 135, and then featherweights, 145 with Cyborg. So we're having this conversation like I don't know this information <laughs> and I really do I'm just my brain is so stretched sometimes like I can't okay. but I am I am super excited for you and how things are going for you and I know that your team is working hard with you you're working hard with them I know your family is is just so supportive and you have a whole great big nation behind you and <laughs> I am excited for you, and I know you're working hard for it, so I don't expect anything but for what, what you want to come out of it to come out of it. So congratulations on your recent win, and good luck in your upcoming fight, because I'm not even going to bother you anymore. I'm going to let you just do what you do, young lady, and um, I'm going to just watch the end result of it. But congratulations on everything, your success in school, out of school, just everything in life. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I'm hoping uh, fights start back up locally here. I'll probably see you there and <laughs> other people around. But Man, oh, dad, I can't wait. I know. I was already at CFFC this last time, but I'm hoping, you know, some of the smaller ones get up. I enjoy going and watching. And um, I'll be honest, I like going to the local things because I get to know some of the other martial artists around here and other not only people to train with, but other people who already know me and are fans on social media and stuff and getting to see them in person is a little bit um, more special, I guess. But thank you for having me. Thank you for being up here. Woman power, hashtag woman power with all my female fighters, jazz, all my managers, all my girls is out here in this game getting it done. Hashtag woman power. <laughs> yes. And thank you again for taking such time out of your busy schedule young lady have a good rest of your day thank you and we'll be waiting and looking for you okay baby all right thank you yes